shotgun, right? Uh, as the Marlins looking to now has get this sweet against the Marlins.
They're not going to challenge.
tip and that got Sanchez. Oh gosh. That's gonna be caught, no question about it. And the Marlins are down their final out. Just put us up on this area, boy. Just do it. Thank you. Share Lone Depot Park in the end. It is the New York Mets with a 7 3 victory over the Miami Marlins. As the Marlins offense is just cannot, cannot even get much runners scoring positions capitalized um, whatsoever. The only time that was able to be happened was Dane Myers' home run back at the second inning, and that was a two run home run to cut the lead in half. Then Beth the court was able to hit that opposite field home run, which I am still shocked about that home run, but good for him, as I always consider him an automatic gout. But the New York Mets prevailed, and they and Nimmo with that clutch home run, and then more, one more run has scored, and it's just, just, hor just horrible what's happened with the Miami Marlins. If there's one thing I can say with the silver line in this particular series alone, it is that the Marlins still won the series against the Mets, and I. Um, with that, with winning the series against the Mets, it's, it's big for a multitude of reasons, but it's the first time, oh, I don't know, it's long enough where I don't, I, where I don't remember feeling this competitive, which, I don't know, it's been a pretty long time. Yes, there was last season, but what good would that do if we didn't even do much in, in anything in the offseason other than trading our guys away? It's just sad. It's just really sad. Good for the Mets that they avoid a sweep. It seems like they're good at avoiding sweeps. Um, but the Marlins just have multiple problems. Just still having some multitude of problems. First one, the pitching is still horrendous. I don't think Sicto San San Sanchez should ever, ever, and I mean ever, ever start a game again. He should go back to the bullpen. I would bring back Max Meyer if they can possibly do so because he was our best pitcher. And then for some strange reason, it was a good idea for them to just option him to triple A. That's bullshit. Now, with with everything else, the hitting, inability to score runners and sco score runs with runners scoring positions, still, still one of the lower, lower ranks of the season. And pitching was just not clutch enough at all sure there were there were some good innings there were some one two three innings but what good would that do if the offense just were just plain dead just plain dead either multiple options one i would dfa somebody sanchez or bethacourt just somebody somebody has to go number two when you trade away our best player and not do anything other than building a farm system, you're not generating a competitive team. You're just not. And I've been saying that on, on some of the recaps. Sure, I, I, even, even with all this, even with that current winning streak that, that's just now playing dead, Sherman has to go. Sell this team, give it to somebody who will, um, who will um, build a competitive team um, if it's not if it's not year one, it could be year two or three. I can accept that because you're building something new. But it's been a long time. It's been a long time, and the attendance is still horrendous. In this stadium alone, it was taken over by Mets fans, and that's a, and that's already embarrassing enough. Where none of our guys, like our peeps, wouldn't come at all, and you allow the other teams, the other fan base from the north, to take over, and that sucks. All we want is to win. All we want is to have a competitive team. And please give it. Spend your goddamn money. And that's all I'll say. So anyway, that's good to do for this one. If you like this video, and for the Mets, for the Mets, the victory was well earned, well earned. I'm not even I'm not even mad about the fact that we lost. It's it's or it's not I'm not even embarrassed by that. It's just it is what it is. But damn Marlins. Just damn.
Anyway, well, that's gonna do it. The outro is already long enough. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for content because my name is two years back. And what it does, hit me right there with the fear to make you deserve. It's my TV channel, folks. Good night, everybody. Hello, so I'm back at Fort Lauderdale. Um, so before I end things off, um, I do want to say a couple of things, and one of them I'm going to show off. Um, one of them is I want to personally thank Loud Marlins fan for uh, hooking me up with the seats that I was sitting at in this game. Those were absolutely amazing seats. I got to see the ball go to this way and that way easily. And it was right by home plate, so it was actually really good. So, Loud Marlins fans, I'm, uh, Loud Marlins fan, I'm giving you a biggest shout out ever. So please go subscribe to this channel uh, if you have not so not done so already. Follow me on social media. Uh, greatly appreciate. He'll greatly appreciate it. And with that, here's the Jake Burger bobblehead. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of it. You have a you have a cheeseburger right here. You have. Uh, I don't know where the bat is. I don't know if it broke. Hopefully it didn't. But um, yeah, this is the Jake Burger uh, bobblehead. Do you, do you like the bobblehead, Jake Burger? He does. Well, well yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, folks. If you ever enjoyed this video and not the game, hit the like button, subscribe our content because my YouTube G has it back. And what it does, hit me right there with the fear team you deserve. This is my YouTube G, sign out, folks. Good night, everybody.